Hey guys, RC here, back with another Let's Play. We're playing Out of the Park 18 today. Uh, this is the career with the Kansas City Royals. And we are, uh, after the last video, we are in major need of a slump buster. Uh, we are seven games out. We have not been performing well. And, uh, wow, just... Uh, not sure what we can do. If we go over to the expanded standings, we're actually only one game off our Pythagorean um, at this point of the season. But we're just not playing well. Barely over 500 against right-handed pitchers. Six and twelve in one run games and two and eight in extra innings. So if it's a close game, we're not winning any of them. And that is very troubling. Um we're not playing badly. It's just uh I think uh Chicago's just playing better. Um Leonard's twelve and four, Gidry's nine and four. Busby's 0 and 2 since we put him into the starting lineup. Splitorf's 11 and 5. Suter's 11 saves. He's gotten roughed up a little bit. Um, yeah, at the back end of our, the front end of our bullpen is not playing well. Um, that may be something we have to kind of look at. Number six in bullpen ERA, second in starters. But we're not scoring a lot of runs. We're seventh. We're not hitting well. We're ninth. We're not getting on base a lot. And I'm an on base guy. I mean, I'm a money ball type, type of guy. So, uh, tenth there, not good. Home runs, not so worried about because, you know, again, I'm, I'm more about, you know, on base percentage and stuff. So I sacrifice a lot of home runs. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, wow. All right, let's jump in here. I don't know if we had anybody hurt or if we've taken care of all that. Yeah, we're good in there. All right, there's Mallory. Post-concussion -con syndrome. Uh, he's got four weeks left. Doug Bird, one to two weeks left before he can come back. Morris is pitching well again. But again, he's only 22. I want to give those ratings a little time to develop a little bit before I pull him back up, especially with the struggles he had. Um, I mean, he had, you know, a 9.51 ERA this year. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a little time to mature uh, there. Uh, Bruno's actually getting pretty close, and, and he's maxed out except for his changeup. So he might be a guy that I could look at. He won't be a front end guy, but he could he could be a guy that could come into that Busby spot and let Splitorf move up a little bit in the rotation. So you know I'm just kind of starting to try to get a grasp on uh, you know some moves that we can make. Um, you know, trying to address. Now, also, if we look at the standings in the wild card, that's the race there because we are actually in a mathematical tie or just right outside of that um, because Baltimore and the Yankees, while tied, only one is going to win the division. The other will get the wild card, but that's why they're both listed there. So we're in the wild card race, three and a half games in front of um, Cleveland. So Cleveland is the team that we're looking at. But look at this. They're on a seven-game win streak, nine and one in their last ten. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're a little nervous about all that. So we are here at the end of the month. We've got Texas and then California coming up this week, followed by Oakland. Texas, California, and Oakland. Now, Oakland's 500, but basically these are three teams that we need to beat <laughs> to start helping put some distance between us and them and also to start putting some wins together. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Oh, you know what? Before I sim, let's jump in and see how we're doing on um, 
free agents, do I need to make anybody an offer? I've got Healy, Lee May, Steve Mingori, Jim Wolford, Aaron. I think I'm going to let Aaron go. Bruce Dow Canton, we're going to let go. Charles Smith. Is he even on? Yeah, he's in the majors. I must have just called him up. That's why he's become a free agent. Five days major league service. All right, well, we're not looking to re-sign him yet. Uh, Rich Dower. He's in triple A. Yeah, I don't think we're going to let we're going to bring him back. Now what I can do um No. There's what I want. No, but see he's not even listed. All players Got him in a trade with Baltimore. He's in Triple A. Said he was in Triple A. Oh, he's on the DL. That's why. That's why I couldn't find him. All right, well, we're going to hold off on that. George Throop, I think we're going to let go. Mark Wiley, picked him up in a trade last year with uh, Minnesota. He's in AAA. I sent him down. Got really good stamina. I'm going to have to make a decision on him, I guess. And the only thing I can fathom 29. Yeah, I just don't think he was one of the best guys that we had. Now, who do we have over here? Larkin, 655, 456. He's 25, he's 29. Yeah, okay, well, we'll we'll figure that out. All right, let's go here. Let's go ahead and play a week. McClure, four days. We're going to go ahead and finish out the week. Three days for Wolford. And that get, uh, personal message. Well, we'll figure that out. That's the owner. And one more day. There we go. All right, so let's dive into here. Looks like a season-ending injury for Rick Camp from Atlanta. 24 years old. Seaver looked really good. He's 9-4 and four this year. All right, Wolford, a sore back. All right, here's our owner goals. I did expect a little better from you in the record. Doesn't look like we're improving home runs.
Well, five hits for Pedro Guerrero. Fred Lynn got injured. He's a day to day. AL Batter of the Month, Jeff Burrows. 408, 11 homers, 37 RBIs for the month. George Foster of the Reds was the NL Hitter of the Month. 357, 13 homers, 26 RBIs. Ken Kravick from the Rangers, Pitcher of the Month, 4 and 1 in 6 starts. Jim Kern of the Cubs went 2 and 0 with 7 saves and 11 relief appearances, a 0 0.47 ERA. You don't see uh, relievers win that award a lot. Uh, that's pretty good. Rick Peters, Rookie of the Month for Texas. National League was Steve Strouder. We got torched uh, by Danny Goodwin for five hits. Lee May. All right. He wants to be traded if he's not a starter. All right, Player of the Month, Jason Thompson for the Tigers, and Al Oliver from the Pirates. Power Rankings, Pirates move up to number one. Chicago falls off just a little bit. And we continue to plummet down to number 15. Wow. All right, delete all messages. Let's look at the standings first. So we have gone three and seven. We're on a five game losing streak, which means we lost uh, quite a few to the Angels for at least three. Uh, and they're the worst team in the league. That's killing me. Three and seven. So the lead is now nine. We're two and a half up on the A's. Cleveland. So there's a log jam right behind us, and we need to we need to pick that up. All right, let's go in and look at the schedule. All right, so we actually took two out of three from Texas. Boy, we lost a big one there. Jeez. All right, in this one we got uh, no decision from Splitorf. Suter blew the save, and then McClure got the extra innings win as we went 12. Home run for Roy Smalley, his seventh of the season. Four to three win. Gidry gets his tenth of the w season. Littell, a hold. Suter, his twelfth save. Burrows with his nineteenth homer. And then, yeah, we got swept all four, all four games against the Angels. Five to two, four to three, thirteen to one. Wow, Gidry got well. Gidry got shelled, and then Larkin got shelled. All right. Well, I think Larkin has proven that he is not ready. Let's take a look at him. Pitching stats, game log, one inning, four hits, five runs, six hits, four runs, two hits, three runs. Poof. He wasn't doing badly. Of course, that was double A. So this was since his call up. So yeah, he, he's just not ready. All right. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and move. Let's see. Ooh, Otis is hurt. Knee tendonitis one day. All right. Doug Bird will be ready to come off the DL. So we'll take care of that. Yeah, Dan Dreesen, I'm not going to bench transactions, trade options. All right, well, let's shop him. Ooh, I do like Mark Bellinger. He's 33, though. Craig Kusick. Really good defensively. Wow, I like him a lot there. He has not been starting for them. He is 33 years old. Um, let's 
scouting reports poor attitude is bad for team morale projects to hit around 290 so he's 33 and we're trying to trade Lee May now May is making 65 and he's a free agent after this season Bellinger is making about 90,000 more and he is signed for another year now he can only play shortstop that would be Rick Burleson Burleson can play third but not very good second and short yeah, I don't see him replacing Burleson at short. Now, he could be, see he's utility, but he plays all the way around the horn. Actually, if I lose May, well, Fran Healy can play first, Gates could play first, Staggs and Milner. Gates, Staggs, Milner. All right, well, Milner's starting, so he's not going to come in. Although I think he is a bat. He is my bench player, right? Yeah, he he hasn't started every game because I think the guy that he is uh, Mallory. No, Mallory is not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Milner is my starter out there. All right, so so Milner's out. Gates. Gates could slide there. Stags could slide there. So that Healy could even slide there if need be. Yeah, I don't think. Burleson's making a 197. I don't know that that's going to be a good move. I like Bellinger's glove, but it's not like my, my starter. Burleson's not horrible, right? So that doesn't really benefit me any. What about him? That may be he signed through the end of the year. He's not hitting great left center and right so he could play center as well so he could be a utility guy and he's got some pop I actually kind of well not a ton of pop though let's see scouting reports 290 average power and then Lee May I mean Lee's got power No, I, I think I'm going to sit on you, Lee. You're just going to be a free agent after the season. But, yeah, tough luck to you. All right. Um, Larkin, down to AAA with you. Wiley, we're going to bring you back up. Okay, that puts Larkin back in the closer's role. Puts Wiley into the middle of the bullpen. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. We are at the end of the month. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, again, I, I do a really bad job of looking at teams here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've looked at the Yankees, the Orioles. I, I had started going through some of these teams. I remember checking out Montreal. I think we looked at the Dodgers. Let's look at... Uh, Well, let's look at the White Sox because they, they seem to be my biggest competition. 
Uh, so they're 53 and 30, nine game lead. Uh, J.R. Richard came over in a trade from Houston back uh, last year, and he is nine and six with a 303. And 155 strikeouts this year in uh, 18 games. That's 40 more in one less game that he had with Houston in 76. And eight less innings as well. So he's really tearing it up this year. And he's got 100 more innings to go to catch up with 75 and he struck out 175 that year so he needs 20 strikeouts in a hundred innings uh, barring an injury I'm gonna think he gets that <laughs> I'm gonna think he gets that uh, he's making 159,000 he signed through 1979 uh, Fergie Jenkins 34 years old so he's the uh, aging veteran 12th year of uh, major league experience 12 and 3 basically he's been a 500 pitcher but he's been solid with his era uh pretty significant drop in his whip this year nothing really jumping out but you know that just a solid solid pitcher he came in via trade with texas okay uh wilbur wood so that's the only homegrown guy so far. He's making a pretty hefty salary, 240000 He's in his 15th year, 11-3 and three again. A 16, you know, 500 pitcher, but a good one. You know, 16, game, 16 games a year that he's won. Uh, and he's already at 11-3, and three, so five more wins and 18, 17 more games certainly possible especially with the way they're playing uh, Pete Vukovic 24 Bill Gogoluski 29 uh, Goose Gossage he came over nope he was actually with them again most people know him as a Yankee Terry Forster I'm trying to look and kind of see how many people are uh, on the uh, in the bullpens here but uh, they, they are number one in runs allowed number one in starter ERA number two in bullpen ERA number one in defensive efficiency and they're top four in all offensive categories and that's how you win a lot of games <laughs> a lot of games Wow Uh, oh, I've already got tickets for that show. <laughs> All right, let's see. Lineups. Let's look at uh, average here. So we've got, oh, wrong guy. That's Aaron. That's my team. Uh, Chicago. Here we go. All right, so George Orta, 26, hitting 365. Bake McBride, 28, hitting 320. Pat Kelly's 32, hitting 295. Butch Hobson's 25, hitting 282. So pretty solid hitters, and three of those four guys are all young. Uh, 21 homers for Hobson. Richie Hebner is 29. He's hitting 278 with 12 homers. 11 for Orta. Chet Lemon is 22, uh, hitting 270. Is this his, uh, no, this is his third year in the big leagues. Yep. Into his third year. So quite a bit of young talent. Uh, Brian Downing, 26. I remember him with the Angels in, in the 80s when he was, uh, you know, in his 30s as he got into his, you know, mid-30s um, is when I remember him a lot. Bucky Dent. 25, of course, he would go on to fame with uh, the Yankees. Butch Hobson. Pretty sure he was a Red Sox. Yep, Boston Red Sox. 
in fact, in real life. So, yeah, came over in a trade with Boston. So, you know, they've made some nice trades. And uh, they look like they're going to be a pain in my butt for a while. <laughs> All right, let's go back to my team. All right, we have adjusted. Oh, since we're beginning of the month, let me go through... All right, let me check some of these guys. I'm probably I need to start weeding some of them out. 24, still in single A. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Out of here. Mark Gehrig, I wonder if that's like Lou's son or something. All right, Jeff Doyle, he's going to move up. 33, Brian Murphy, you're out of here. 23, you're out of here. 23, out of here. 23, out of here. Yeah, I mean if they're if they're 22, 23, especially 23, 24, I mean you know this guy he's hitting 400, but he's just no good. You know he'll never move up in our organization. Uh, Roberts, we're gonna get rid of you too. Let me just kind of scope through here real quick. Um, you know what? We're gonna get rid of you. All right, I think everybody else there is good. Uh, 24 having to go back to AAA, so yeah, we're going to get rid of you. 23, it says you need to go down. You're gone. 21, you can still be salvaged, maybe. Roy Branch, yeah, you're not cutting it, so you're gone. And then... Bruce Del Canton. Now it says he needs to be demoted. We're just going to release him. Yeah, we'll pay out the last. Just get him off because he was going to be a free agent anyway. All right, it says Willie's ready, but he's only hitting 211, so I, I'm not ready to make that call. Larkin, we just sent him down. Quisenberry, I would like to get him. Uh, you know, he's actually got four pitches. How odd is that? But he's in the high 80s so probably not good starter material Morris Bruno you know those guys are going to be part of our future staff for sure all right and let's go ahead and just reset with all those moves Mainly an A ball, a lot of releases. That'll get maybe some younger players playing or not. <laughs> We've got a lot of guys down there in A ball. A lot of guys. Look at that. That's a ton of pitchers, man. All right. We don't have a lot of position players there. Now you can see that that made some openings here. So that'll get some younger players in actually playing, which is good. All right. Staggs, Burleson, Brett. Yep, didn't change any of our starters. All right, guys, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in right here. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll come back and we'll pick up uh, with the next month and see if at some point if we can't turn this slump around. You know, it's not so much that I think we're going to compete for the uh, division this year, but, you know, we're losing to teams like K-1, 
California that are in dead last. And that is uh, not making me feel very good. So thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.